Ukrainian defenders likely used the rare guided shell Copperhead during battles in the Kursk region. It was produced in the United States in the 1970s. According to Defense Express, the agency notes that the M712 Copperhead is a representative of the first generation of guided shells, making its appearance in modern combat unexpected. According to media reports, Ukrainian defenders employed the M712 Copperhead to target a metal communication tower located east of Sudza. Three such shells were used for the strike launched from M777 howitzers. Of course, this creates big problems for Russians. Defense Express states that the M712 Copperhead is guided to its target using a laser beam. Its effective range is up to 16 kilometers and it weighs 62.4 kilograms. Serial production of the shells began in 1978 and they are no longer manufactured. Data available indicates that there were up to 20,000 M712 Copperhead shells in the US as of 1995. Additionally, in 2017, information emerged regarding the transfer of several hundred munitions to the Lebanese army. At the beginning of 2024, Ukraine faced significant issues with ammunition shortages. The main reason was the suspension of aid from the US, as Congress was unable to allocate funding for this purpose. However, the situation with artillery has since improved. Defense Express emphasizes that it's currently unknown where the Ukrainian Defense Forces could have obtained the M712 Copperhead from or how many. Nonetheless, the very option of using these guided munitions to strike down Russian forces offers its own utility, especially considering Russia's active use of electronic warfare systems, hindering with GPS guided shells yet useless against laser beam navigation. Earlier, we extensively covered the use of Krasnopol precision guided projectiles by the Russian army and the methods Ukrainians employ to counter them. This Russian-made guided shell is believed to be a result of the USSR simply borrowing technological solutions from the American M712 Copperhead for its own product, officially adopted by the Soviet military in 1986. For hitting small targets, artillery had to lay down barrages in hopes that at least one round would hit the mark. Guided munitions offer the prospect of one round, one kill, which evens the economics a bit. Donald Trump was elected the 47th President of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. The victory validates his bare-knuckle approach to politics. He attacked his Democratic rival, Kamala Harris, in deeply personal, often misogynistic and racist, terms as he pushed an apocalyptic picture of a country overrun by violent migrants. The coarse rhetoric, paired with an image of hypermasculinity, resonated with angry voters, particularly men, in a deeply polarized nation. As president, he's vowed to pursue an agenda centered on dramatically reshaping the federal government and retribution against his perceived enemies.